Hello, let's talk about Icon 2, new uh, controller for your underfloor or radiator system. Uh, main difference uh, comparing to Icon 1, the previous one, automatic, Icon 2 can be uh, with 230 volts and also with 24 volts actuators. So the basic version comes uh, without transformator. It comes from factory, already made for 230 volts. Let's say you don't want 20, 230 volts uh, and you would like to have 24 volts uh, output for actuators. So what you do, you unplug uh, this part. Let's check it is disconnected, yet it is disconnected from the main supply. So I just take this part out. I take the conversion module uh, simply talking transformator, and I put it here. So now we have 20 to 24 volts output for actuators. Why we have this uh, solution now? Uh, this is because uh, using 230 volts, it is maybe not so safe as comparing to 24 volts, but we use less energy. So 230 volts system, uh, without transformator would use less electricity. So this would be more, let's say, environment friendly. So it depends uh, on you. You can choose converter, use 24 volts, or you can connect it directly and use 230 volts output. What else do we have here? Uh, we have here main supply for the controller. Uh, here we have output for mixing shunt, for circulation pump, for mixing shunt. Mixing shunt is usually used uh, in case you want to connect your underfloor heating system to a higher radiator system, higher temperature radiator system. For example, you had first floor, second floor radiators, then you made renovation for a first floor, you made underfloor heating, but you need uh, lower temperatures for underfloor heating. For underfloor heating, you may supply uh, maximum 50 degrees. So for temperature reduction, you need something like a mixing shunt. And here uh, it comes uh, Danfoss FHMC mixing shunt, which is capable up to 15 kilowatts of uh, underfloor heating to supply a, a hot water for and the floor system. The, the shunt is regulated uh, uh, depending on room thermostats. In case at least one thermostat is calling for a heating, mixing shunt here is being activated. And then, uh, then the last thermostat goes off, the mixing shunt here also goes off. Okay, here, here we have a connection for your boiler or for a heat pump and it works also the same uh, as it works uh, with uh, circulation pump the the time any thermostat is calling for uh, heating then the boiler or heat pump is being activated and then the last thermostat is going off this boiler or heat pump is also going off. Uh, here we have connection for 15 actuators and you may connect only one actuator per output because controller will see this if you connect say, two actuators into one uh, output uh, controller uh, will warn uh, you have faulty output. Uh, this is done because uh, producer wants you to connect a single actuator per output to have automatic balancing. Uh, here we have uh, six, let's say, actuators and uh, those actuators are used for automatic, automatic balancing between circuits and those actuators may open uh, a needed point with PVM pulse-wide modulation uh, 
to balance the, the heating in uh, all floor uh, heating system. Of course, we have this presetting under the actuator, and we can uh, use presetting to compensate different length of uh, your circuit uh, to have uh, heating uh, coming the same time in all circuits. So our recommendation would of course uh, would be to make this uh, presetting before you put actuator on. And in case you have manifold without uh, those presettings, you may use Danfoss Icon 2 controller with uh, automatic balancing and it will balance circuits using actuators. Of course, balancing uh, using actuators is not so efficient as uh, having presetting on your manifold because uh, commissioning with actuators, controller will have to use more electricity. Okay, uh, here we have slot for shunt actuator, uh, for mixing shunt actuator. Here is the output, and here you can connect the Danfoss actuator uh, and connect this actuator with Danfoss mixing shunt. And this is used to, in case you want to regulate temperature of your mixing shunt, because there are two options. Mixing shunt can be with self-acting thermal actuator, or mixing shunt can come without self-acting actuator, and you can put uh, uh, Danfoss thermal actuator, which will regulate temperature for a mixing shunt, depending on the need of the heat of your, your house. Let's say house is not uh, heating up fast enough, so Icon 2 controller can regulate supply temperature into your underfloor heating system. It can increase a little bit to have faster uh, heat uh, coming uh, into your room, and vice versa, if uh, controller would see uh, the house is uh, on a needed temperature, it may reduce supply temperature for your underfloor heating system using this output and using this uh, thermal actuator connected on your mixing shunt. Uh, outputs here, three outputs here, are used for wired room thermostats. Uh, something like this. They can be in-wall wired room thermostat or it can be on-wall wired room thermostats. Those all thermostats, uh, battery powered. Say this, this one is battery powered, uh, new Icon 2 room thermostat. And those wired thermostats, they all can work in one system together. Okay, uh, for actuators we have 15 outputs, for room thermostats there are only three outputs, but don't worry, you can connect here the whole 15 room thermostats, because they are being connected in parallel, so like one, two, three, four, five, you can connect five into one slot, another five into second slot, and uh, another five into third slot. Or if you would like, you can connect the whole 15 into one slot. Of course, there might be not, not enough room, so you can make a connection somewhere outside. Okay, uh, the, last, the last outputs are for dew point sensor. Dew point sensor is used uh, to sense uh, moisture on a, a manifold in case you have uh, uh, underfloor cooling. So uh, probably you, would, you wouldn't like to have uh, moisture on your floor. So the first point which, point which uh, uh, starts condensate is, is here on manifold. So we measure 
a moisture on the manifold and in case we have moisture, uh, dew point sensor uh, sends signal here into input one for controller to stop temporarily uh, cooling under floor cooling and wait a little bit uh, till moisture goes off and then it starts automatically uh, again and lets the controller to continue the cooling procedure. Okay, input two. Input two is here is used for switching between heating and cooling. So here we can have a simple manual switch where let's say house owner decides uh, then it is the right time to, to start the cooling season, season or you can connect uh, uh, with two wires to your uh, heat pump. So whenever heat pump decides now it is a cooling season, then it would send signal here into input two for master controller to start the uh, cooling. Uh, and the PT1000, PT1000 is here. It is, it is mounted uh, on a bypass because uh, we always here with balancing valve, we always have uh, circulation and it senses the temperature we have from uh, heat pump. So for example, if heat pump is on cooling mode and it is supplying uh, 20 degrees, so sensor understands it is cooling now working and switches uh, controller and sends signals to the whole thermostat, uh, now it is a cooling mode. Uh, in case heat pump is sending, let's say, delivering uh, 25 degrees supply temperature, uh, controller understands now it is a heating season, and then thermostats switch to heating mode. Uh, you usually see here either some waves, uh, which means now it is heating, or you can see snow sign here, which means now it is a cooling mode. Here we have connection for antenna. Antenna is used for uh, better radio signal if you have uh, radio thermostats, wireless room thermostats. So in case you have bad connection, you can connect here antenna. If antenna doesn't help, there is a repeater. Uh, second antenna is used uh, for connection uh, for having a better connection with your alley gateway. Alley gateway looks like this, and the alley gateway is used uh, for uh, regulation of your underfloor heating system uh, by phone uh, from anywhere in the world. Uh, so you need this uh, alley gateway. Uh, of course, uh, alley gateway can regulate uh, uh, radiator thermostats, alley radiator thermostats, they can all be in one system, underfloor heating and radiator thermostats. Uh, Alley gateway can regulate up to four master controllers of ICON2, and the Alley gateway has to be connected to your internet router using cable, and it needs uh, power supply. Here we have uh, USB connection, and here is USB-C adapter. Uh, in case you would like to connect the Android phone by wire, but this is only for a setup uh, using Icon2 app for uh, application, uh, for a setting uh, setup, so this is more like a phone installer, and uh, we will make another video how to use uh, Icon2 app for uh, Icon2 uh, controller installation. The last thing, uh, is a comparison between uh, Icon Basic. Here I have Icon Basic and here I have Icon Advanced Controller. By view, there is no difference. The, the whole difference is inside. Basic controller can switch between heating and cooling. Let's say you have two pipe system connected to a uh, heat pump and heat pump can switch between heating and cooling modes. Uh, it also can connect dew point sensor. Uh, it also can have a manual switch 
and switch between heating and cooling modes. Uh, Icon 2 Advanced Controller it has much more applications and there are many different ones. Uh, like uh, in case, for example, you have three-way valves here for connection be uh, between heating and cooling. Uh, you may have here uh, two pipes coming for heating with heating with, with hot water, two pipes coming with chilled water, and you may need to close uh, those pipes, open these ones, close these ones, open another ones. So for this kind of uh, connection and uh, switching on and off, you need those uh, different applications. There also might be three pipe system, four pipe system, and for those, uh, let's say, uh, more advanced applications, you would need uh, advanced uh, icon to control. So I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. See you.